Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike York. Today is Monday, June fifteenth. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and off to a great start this week. Uh, we got some one item here on the economic calendar, and that is the Empire State Index. This is the manufacturing in the New York region. Anything below zero is considered contraction. So, as you can see, we had contraction across the board. However, May was a pretty steep contraction at four, minus forty-eight and a half. Forecasts were calling for, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 29 and a half, or 2980, excuse me, uh, as a drop. But however, it almost came to zero at uh, 0.2%, or 0.2 rather on this index. So great numbers right there. Uh, nice improvement uh, in manufacturing in the New York region. We'll wait and see how others come out from Philadelphia to Chicago, how close they are, and see if this trend continues uh, upward. So headline news, uh, stocks are down. Uh, it's taken its cue from uh, s several states claiming a spike in the coronavirus uh, uh, testing. Uh, it seems like it has to do with testing, that more people are getting tested and they're finding more uh, coronavirus cases. So, of course, that is spooking investors and hoping that there is not a second wave or even another shutdown. So um, I think they're pretty adamant about keeping the economy co open regardless if uh, there's a second wave or not. Uh, but in any case, uh, this is a situation that kind of we're, we're kind of looking at currently is, uh, you know, the, there's been so, a spike in uh, numbers here. Uh, China also seeing a spike in their numbers. They even closed one of their largest, uh, uh, like, markets uh, as a result. And, uh, and also they looked at some data from China that didn't look too promising. Retail sales were down. Manufacturing was, I think it was manufacturing was also down. So they had some um, issues that, uh, that it's making investors realize that the economy may not jump start as fast as we'd like it to jump start and that it may take a while longer so that's also kind of settling into investors as well when we look at China so let's see how this is playing on the bond market bond market actually started off really nicely this morning we're way up here action uh, very positive territory however as the day went on it started dragging downwards so those lenders probably more on the East Coast uh, have these better pricing uh, probably priced it better and probably had uh, it dropped pricing, probably did a reprice for the worst. Here on the West Coast, we're kind of seeing more of this numbers here, so we'll probably be starting off the, a reprice from the East Coast numbers here. So right now, we're down about six basis points on uh, mortgage-backed securities, but we're still above the 25-day and the 50-day moving average, which is still a good sign for us. Uh, let's look, look here at the Treasuries. Treasuries are also down. Uh, we're down about uh, down to about 0.687 right now. We started the day above the 50-day moving average. Right now we're uh, trying to stay above. It's trying to stay above it, but it's working its way below it as well. So pretty much everything's down. It's kind of strange that money is being pulled out of the markets as concerns over the coronavirus. So uh, even stock market's down. Bond market bar market is down as well as the treasury. So uh, we'll have to kind of wait and see uh, where that money goes, and then uh, that will have probably a spike. So typically, bonds are a safe, you know, uh, flight to pa uh, safety. So if stock market's not doing well, uh, they move that money into safekeeping, which is mortgage-backed securities or bonds, and um, it's typically that's why, why we saw that, seen that in a more positive manner, but for some reason it's kind of pulled back a little bit as investors get become a little bit more uncertain of the market. So. That's pretty much the wrap for the day. If you guys are in California looking to buy or refinance, we'd love to talk to you about your solutions. A lot of different great products out there right now. Uh, things are starting to open up a little bit. I'm hearing the jumbo market starting to re come back a little bit. We might see that here in the next few weeks or, uh, or another month or so. Uh, so that's a promising sign. Uh, we are seeing... Uh, you know, things are uh, pricing getting a little bit better. We're seeing as well. Uh, we're not seeing as dr as as much of a dramatic increase from the servicing side of things, where the you know the pricing was artificially altered in a way. I guess if you want to say that, uh, I say that only because servicing was taking a squeeze from the forbearance, and therefore they had to price it a little bit higher to protect the servicing as well, and uh, and such. So we are seeing some improvements. Uh, Go ahead and direct message me or email me for a uh, conversation. We could definitely talk a little bit about how we can help you guys out and find what loan program works the best for you. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.